What's up guys, Jordan Patton here with a brand new NASCAR diecast review. And today we're going to be looking at Jimmy Johnson's 2002 Chevrolet Monte Carlo for Hendrick Motorsports. Also known as his rookie car. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into this review. As we do the 360 as usual. Now this is a scheme I always forget how much I love. It's just really a solid, good color scheme. Which I do have this on the 2004 version of the car, but I really wanted to get it in his rookie variant, of course. Mainly because I don't think I can call myself a diecast collector without Jimmy J's rookie car in my collection. But anyways, so let's go ahead and get into the details. Of course, we have the number 48 on the headlight. We got Monte Carlo. On the hood, we have Lowe's and a Chevrolet bow tie. Get the hood open. There is our immaculate 2002 engine detail, as you can see. We got Lowe's home improvement under the hood. Of course, on the roof, we have the number 48. Of course, this is before the ARC's roof flaps opened. We got Lowe's on the deck lid. The deck lid does open, and there is our good old fuel cell. We got Lowe's, we got Quaker State, number 48, visit Lowe'sRacing.com. We got the two rookie stripes and the Chevrolet bow tie on the back. And behind the rear wheel, we have American Tradition one coat paints. We got Lowe's, and on the B post, we got Quaker State and 1-800-MARO2. We got Top Choice Lumber Products. And on the B post, we have Delphi, Haas, EDS, and GM GMAC. We got Hendrick Motorsports right there. We got the number 48. We got Jimmy Johnson's name on the name rail. And our 2002 contingencies. Take a look at the right side of the car, which is pretty much the same as the left. Look underneath the car if you care to see it. Of course, this is when they still had the sticker tires. That's pretty much it for the die cast itself. Let's take a quick look at the box. Of course, this is a 2002 release, so there is our 2002 box. And back when they still had the sleeve, we got Action, 10th Anniversary, 124 scale stock car, limited edition adult collectible, Lowe's, Home Improvements, impro Improving Home Improvement. Man, I forgot that was their old slogan. Got Jimmy Johnson, Jimmy Johnson's signature, and a picture of young Jimmy. <laughs> wow, it's been a while. And of course, this is Jimmy Johnson's number 48 Lowe's 2002 Monte Carlo, a total production of 19,704. So, for back then, not a very highly produced diecast for action. Of course, we got the same as we do on the front, on the sides. And on the back, there is our legal stuff. But there's the box. Take one last glance at this beautiful paint scheme. So if you want this car, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, um, you're probably not going to find it for $30 anymore. Um, just to better to double check, because I paid more than I wanted to for this one, about $70. Um, usually you can get them for the ones I've seen of this, of the low, of the, excuse me, the Lowe's basic scheme action mold is going for at cheapest 50 which isn't too bad. I wish I'd saw that one, but it is what it is. Um, a few months ago, I looked at these up and they were around $30, $40, but it looks like people were like, oh crap, maybe we should get his rookie car. And of course, I did make Team Caliber um, of this car. Racing Champions, the really nice Racing Champions, has a few, I think maybe Ravel. I know Ravel produced his first win. Um, I can't find that anywhere now. Um, of course, and I think Racing Champions actually has a race version, but the Racing Champions looks like a Racing Champions. Action will always num be number one for the way the cars overall look, in my opinion. Uh, Team Caliber actually does have some great detail, but their molds are just always a little off for me, and if there is a action version of the car, that's usually what I prefer to get. But, yeah, if you want this car, I would try to get it as soon as possible. I don't think it's going to get 
super high. I don't think you're going to see it for any more than maybe $80. And just is just kind of a quick little thing. If you're trying to sell a bank or a club car and you're like pricing it at $50, $60, don't. Just because they made very few of them does not make that club car or bank rare. Uh, banks are buzz kills, and so are club cars. If you don't know, the regular club cars, actually, they, they're the basic die cast, but they're like today. The deck lid doesn't open, and it kind of hurts their value. Um, but anyways, that's kind of a rant, but it's a beautiful paint scheme, and it's the GOAT's last year, and this was his first year, and um, yeah. That's pretty much it for this one. If you enjoyed it, please do a thumbs up and subscribe. That would be totally awesome and help me out a lot. Uh, you can follow me on my Instagram page, which is jpat underscore diecast2, and my Twitter, which is jpat underscore diecast. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day or night, wherever you may be, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.